Cameron Cruz. And I'm Lisa Bradley. And we're the co-founders of Our Riveter, a handbag company on a mission. We're here seeking $100,000 for a 20% equity stake in our company. As military spouses, one of the toughest aspects is uncertainty. Whether that means a deployment or relocation, there are things that are just out of your control. Because of this, we have set out on a mission to empower and create mobile income for military spouses. Our handbags are made from upcycled military materials, like wool blankets, uniforms, and tents. Each Our Riveter handbag tells a story. Leather and canvas is cut, liners are sewn, all at the hands of our nation's military spouses from across the country. Our Riveter is about empowering military spouses and redefining the boundaries of American manufacturing. So Sharks, who will help us grow this company dedicated to serving the families who serve us all? We've got some bags we'd like to pass out. Robert, we'll start with you. That is the French Messenger. 15 military spouses went into making that bag. Thank you. Lori, the Mrs. Otto for you. That bag traveled over 3,000 miles on its handmade journey. Thank you. Kevin and Damon, you get two of our best sellers, the Finch and the Patton, both made from an upcycled military tent. And Mark, yours is made from the dress blue pant of a first lieutenant in the Army. That's cool. So Cameron, you said 15 people went into making this. Yes. So military spouses move on every 2.9 years, and that makes it very difficult to find employment, put down roots, and have a community to be a part of. So what we've done is we provide the mobile employment. So military spouses make the parts and pieces, like the support tag was dyed in Colorado. The leather was cut in Georgia, and the liner was made in New York at Fort Drum. All of those pieces come together in our shop in North Carolina, just outside of Fort Bragg. So they all make parts, they ship it to you. And we assemble and ready for retail. And so what's the total cost of this bag for you to make it with everything in? $55 for that Mrs. Finch, and we sell it for $220. And where do you track the story? So if I wanted to know the story of my bag. All of the parts and pieces made by each military spouse are actually stamped with their ID. You can go around and you can find the individual stamp of every military spouse that put time and effort into your handbag. Right now, we're selling 60% online and 40% in our brick and mortar store. Cameron, what are the sales? Almost $300,000 in the last 12 months, $190,000 year to date. Wow, that's really good. If we get an investment, we're expecting $400,000 this Why? year. What, what will the investment do to actually change your sales by 25%? We believe that with um, an investment, we can actually put money into marketing. We've only put $2,000 in each. My dad put $5,000 in. Other than that, we've grown the company dollar by dollar. So if you've invested a total of $9,000. Yes. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Lisa, tell us your story. Tell us your background. Tell us how you got together. Well, when I met my husband, it was really the beginning of the end of my career. I actually made four cross-country moves by the time I was 24. Wow. I, I did go to business school, but I didn't get to start my career. We actually moved to Georgia, and that's where I met Cameron. Our husbands were ranger instructors. Your husbands are rangers? Yes. Wow, very impressive. And then I have a master's in architecture. Guys, mo most of your sales, 60% of your sales are online, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. So tell us about your website, increasing your traffic. So all of our customers are saying that they're finding us from some kind of news media that we've gotten or word of mouth. So huge untapped market for us online. We see a huge potential there. And part of the investment today would be to help hopefully go towards that and, and grow that. Are you getting any pushback on the price of these bags? Because they are premium priced. I think our target market understands what it means to make something in America and sell it and be able to make money and help more military spouses. So do you send them templates? Yes. For example, like this makes this bag. Do they have a book of they all do. the different styles? Yes, absolutely. So we tell them how we accept the pieces, what we're going to buy from them, and they make to our standard. I think the beautiful thing about our handbags is the simplicity of them. A military spouse can come in with no sewing experience and learn how. What's really, really cool to me is you are a social network through action, right? I mean, you could be literally the future of, of manufacturing in some respects for specialty manufacturing. Everybody who contributes has pride of ownership, right? So they become a sales rep without having to actually sell the bag, right? I helped build this, yeah. right? When you start getting that personal connection, it can take it to a whole nother level. I love the business. I get a sense that this is more than just a business for you. This company is so much more than just a product. We're standing up here for every military spouse that's ever had a dream. And so we have a lot riding on our shoulders. So today, we just wanted to come here and tell our story and, and tell you that military spouses, although they're not wearing the uniform, they're serving in their own way. They're the ones that are at home making sure that, they, that the soldiers have a family to come home to. You know, it's extreme courage and sacrifice to be a military wife. Sometimes it is. <laughs> <laughs>